Hello everyone and welcome to another episode in this series that oh everyone just loves, right? Especially me. It's called Cassie Tries On Bras and the public gets to watch. Yeah? Doesn't that sound like a great time? Like everyone, I know you're all just thinking like, why do I waste my time doing this in private in a dressing room at home when I could do it on YouTube for the whole world to see? I know, I know. Well, hey, join in on the fun if you feel like it. We're doing another bra try-on. I had exchanged those bras from Third Love for a different size. It, it didn't work out. I got them. Uh, the band fit perfect, the 42 band, but then the cups, they fit on the bottom, but then on top it was just gaping galore. And I think it's because I have bottom heavy breasts. They are not very, top heavy at all. <laughs> I mentioned this in the last video. I don't have your classic like nice slope to the breast. It's just like chest muscle. Blah. You know, it is what it is. I've come to learn to... <sighs> I haven't gotten to the point where I love my boobs yet, but you know what? It's a journey and I am on it. So I feel like the overwhelming majority of you all said that, because I asked you if you are a larger person and or just have larger breasts, what bras fit you best? You know, so that I can have a at least kind of point or nod in the right direction. And a lot of you suggested that I tried out Lane Bryant bras, just said that they're the best, they fit so perfect, you know, they've got all different kinds of sizes. So I went ahead and I ordered some. I don't remember <laughs> which ones or how many I ordered. So this is gonna be a real experience for all of us here opening this up. I think I got three bras. I think I did. And I'm excited to try all of them. They've got great reviews. I love that the Lane Bryant models on the website modeling the bras and underwear are actual fat girls like me. Granted, some of them have your classic hourglass kind of a fat shape, or just curvy even. I mean, I would say some of these models aren't even fat like at all, but then we certainly have some that like are heavier than I am and they're adorable. They look great in the undies that they are modeling. And that just makes me feel great to not see things photoshopped out, I mean, on any of the models. You can see stretch marks, you can see lumps, you can see bumps, you can see it all, and the models just look so happy, and that makes me feel much more happy about my body too, so. Here are the bras. I went ahead and I did use, <laughs> God, these are huge. I feel like in my head, I just have these tiny little boobies, and then I get bras, and I'm like, are they really this big? I mean, that might just be body dysmorphia talking, but... Oh, I got four bras. That's right, because they were having a sale. It was buy one, get one 50% off, so I hopped on that. I also used their guide to measuring yourself to figure out what size I would be in their bras. I think I got a 44 and everything. Yes. I got a 44 triple D. Woohoo! A lot of you said you think I'm a much bigger cup size, so... Lane Bryant's calculator agreed with you, so we shall see. I mean, I think they have a very pretty selection of bras. I was a little sad a lot of them in my size were sold out. I don't know, I must have a very common breast size or band size or both. But here we go, 44 double D. That is, that's me. I mean, when I think that I could wear this as a hat and that's how big my boobs are, that is one boob. The size of my head, like that's incredible. Anyways, I liked that a lot of their bras, you know, they had the option of underwire or no underwire, lined, unlined, all that good stuff. The bands are nice and thick, which I like, help to minimize back fat rolls and nice wide straps. So these should be really nice and supportive. And they've got lots of different like colors and patterns and all that kind of stuff. So I had to pick at least one kind of sexy looking one right? I got this like, ooh, boop, boop. <laughs> Hello, Madonna. I got this one that has underwire. Um, all of these are the, is it Cassique brand? I'm pretty sure that's Lane Bryant's like lounge and intimates kind of a section, but this is unlined and full coverage. I think most of the bras that I got are that way. I will be sure to, I don't think that was the name of the bra. I'll look it up and I'll find it with prices and everything and I'll, uh, put it up here, but like I said, it's just, uh, it's not lined. I personally don't need lining. I guess I was lucky in that I have quite tiny, tiny nipples, and so I 
don't really hardly ever have to worry about nipping out so unlined is just fine for me I find it to be much more comfortable anyways but this has got a nice huge underwire like I said this is intense but yeah it's got the beigey lining underneath and then just some black floral lace a little pink bow in the middle I mean I thought this was a beautiful bra so I'm excited about that one I mean I'm excited about all of these but then you know wanted a more everyday kind of a nude comfy bra this is a boost balconette and this is just in a you know my nude color but this one from what the name suggests I do believe this is supposed to give you a little bit of a boost my god like these are huge really a triple D I mean I guess we will find out but you know a nice thick ish strap but this is just a nice feels like a very normal bra material and it's got kind of a little tiny bit of padding on the bottom to give that boost but it is more of a balconette style but still obviously very full coverage which I personally like. Nice thick band, but the band is kind of uh, like a mesh. Got the huge, you know you've got big boobs when you gotta go with the four clasper. I remember back in the day when I was able to wear bras with a one clasp. A one clasp. I mean, I was, <laughs> you know, probably a good 80 pounds lighter. <laughs> I obviously didn't have as much to be supported but anyways here we just I thought this bra was adorable and just looked like a nice comfy cottony kind of a you know t-shirt kind of a bra oh thank you it says I'm a goddess naturally that is so nice this is the lightly lined t-shirt bra now hopefully I kind of sort of usually hate bras that have like the seams going along the cups because that usually shows through your shirt if you have a tight shirt on but hopefully that'll be okay so large and much more pointy. These cups just naturally point. I mean, I think that's why it's got those little things there, but it's just a gray cottony black polka dotted bra. Again, nice thick band. And I just, like I said, I thought this was adorable, right? I mean, come on. They're gonna look cute in that if this fits. But then, last but not least, do I remember getting this one? <laughs> I mean, this just looks like another really comfy. I mean, you guys know me. Like the reasons I don't wear real bras is because I just like to be comfy. So I got all like very comfortable, at least to me, looking at bras. So this is just a black one. It's kind of a more stretchy, kind of a yoga pant material, if you will. This feels much more cottony, the band. But uh, yeah, it's literally just a black bra. It's got a white bow in the middle, got some good underwire too it and is obviously not lined. This is the unlined full coverage bra. So very nice. I'm really excited to try these off. I have high hopes. Like I said, you guys suggested them. They've got great reviews online. Yeah, I'm excited to see how they look. Let's find out together, shall we? we shall let's go all right so one thing you guys had told me which I totally understand and I did apologize in the video but you wanted me to wear a much tighter form-fitting shirt so you could actually see the bras which as I said I understand so I mean you can see like the drawstring of my pants through the shirt that is how form-fitting it is on me so this is my normal bra that I wear on a usually regular basis from true and co obviously not really much support but it has the slightest amount and it's comfy like I said so here's my boobs kind of like how they look naturally booby booby mm -hmm. all right so this bra no <laughs> I mean it has the beginnings of what could be a good bra for me this is the lacy one and it is certainly very full coverage but I feel like I mean the band is good it gives me the bra band cut in and the underwire is good guess it supports <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this on YouTube I guess it supports the under part of my boob but they feel so free and <laughs> jiggly <laughs> but the gapes, the gaping in the cup is just, it's not good. All right, I think I can show this much. When I told you, I knew there was no way. I wish I had that fullness up top, but I just don't, so. <laughs> you can see all that glorious extra. If somehow this could get gathered, boop, boop. So yeah, this first one is a pass for me. Just doesn't work at all. <laughs> it even makes my shirt stand out. <laughs> I mean, I could do the good old, like, stuff it with tissues thing. <laughs> I mean, this is how they're all gonna be, isn't it? 
I mean, like I said, I wish I could fill that out, but like I have, a, it's just not my boob type at all. <laughs> great, you know, underwire's great, band fits me. Certainly I've got the bra band, back fat type of a thing going on, but this one feels much more supportive. It's just, you know, I, I, I don't fill it out. <sighs> At, well, I shouldn't say at all. I fill out the bottom part of it perfectly. It's up here though. My boobs are inadequate for these bras. I think this one is probably the most flattering in the back, but up front, oh no, it's just awful. I mean, like I said, I've got the lift from the underwire and that's great, but like I've got so much extra, <laughs> so much room that I just don't. Fill. I mean, truly, this is maddening. I know a lot of you said there's no way I could be a C cup, but like, do we see the gaping? Do we see how too large a triple D is for me? If this could somehow conform like that, that'd be so stinking cute. Like this bra would probably be perfection if not for that. Like, come on now. Not all of us have full boobs all around. Some of us have these weird little ones. They're not weird. They're just not glamorized or normalized in the media, but I wish I could like just take this chunk of skin and fat and move it there. But like, I love this big wide band. It's perfect. These sad, saggy cups. And I know a lot of you say that the problem with the gaping is because the band doesn't fit, you know, this part, whatever, I forget what it's called, but it's supposed to fit like flat against your, your sternum. And it does, it's perfect, like I said. And the underwire like perfectly hugs right underneath the boob. I just don't have enough up top to fill it out. So yeah, just as the sun is going down, as are my spirits. <laughs> I think I need it to just go in store. Like this is why I don't order bras or certain things like that, jeans online very often, if ever. It's just way too specific of a fit. Bodies are so different and uh, mine clearly does not work with these bras perfectly. So I would be curious to go into a Lane Bryant because like I said, I love the bands on these. The bands seem to fit perfect. The underwire is great. They feel like they would be supportive. It's just a matter of the cups being way too big, even though, as I said, I used their calculator and measuring system and everything. So I think I just need to go in store, see how it is. Uh, I know a lot of you also suggested Torrid, so I might just need to go into a Torrid, see if their bras do well for me. I love their bralettes, so maybe their actual bras will work well for me as well. It's been a long time since I've been to a mall and I'll have to check and see if any of these stores are actually open around me with, you know, the world being the way it is right now. <sighs> so. These bras are all going back. Wah, wah. <laughs> Thank you guys for suggesting it though. I mean, like said, I there were parts of these bras that I really loved. So they maybe have potential, but also my boobs just might not be a good fit for this Cassique Lane Bryant brand. So as I said, I hope this was more helpful for you guys, just seeing with a different t-shirt on me and actually seeing the bras a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed it, <laughs> the little show you got. Just let me know what you guys think. What's your experience with bras and Lane Bryant bras and what are your favorite bras and et cetera, et cetera. I do love hearing from you guys and you know, taking on some of your advice in the comments down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below. Become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.